Hey guys, Santa here, and today what I'm going to do is I'm going to review Linux Mint 12. Now, some of you may have not known this, but I've actually installed Ubuntu, and I installed Linux Mint 12 just for the pure ability to test it without any hardware holdbacks or anything like that. I just wanted to test it as a native operating system, and well, I'm pretty pleased pleased with it, except for a few things. So, first off, what I'm going to do is give you the rundown of the appearance to me. Remember, this is my own opinion, so fuck off. Alright, let's get started. First off, as you look here up at the notification bar, you notice it looks kind of familiar. Anybody running Fedora knows that this is actually GNOME 3, not fucking you unity this is just gnome 3 except this does run the dash but every time i go to it it crashes my screencast nomadic all right so yeah like i said the notification bar has gotten a complete overhaul with gnome 3 as you see it looks almost like fedora's no menu system except it doesn't except you can use your windows partition on this so nothing much has changed if you go into any menu you can see that it looks almost exactly like Ubuntu. That is because Linux Mint is actually a branch off of Ubuntu, but now they're starting to turn it into its own operating system. There is no Linux Mint Ubuntu, there's just Linux Mint. Although they do have a Debian edition now, but that doesn't really concern me. Anyway, back on topic. As I said, this looks exactly like um, Ubuntu and possibly Debian. Although I haven't run Debian, I assume this would look just like it. Yeah, GNOME 3 and all the menus look just like Fedora's. Like here's the menu ah, here's the calendar and the clock. Here is my laptop battery life, it's at hundred. Here is my uh, Wi Fi, here's Bluetooth, and here's something new. This is the um this is the update manager. It's dead of nothing being here it's an update manager that tells you whenever you have updates and I have five which I'm not gonna mess with right now cuz I'm fucking recording and as you can probably tell with the icons they're all green because hell mint is green mint will always be green unless they fucking screw with it and all the icons inside the menu systems are almost green like the ones on the side here the arrows over here and the folders inside of here they're all green they are all fucking green like money okay enough of that now I'm gonna talk about how it runs well first off this runs pretty well this dri this detects all my drivers it even detects my ATI drivers which I'll get to in a second because I have a problem with it it runs everything pretty great. Oh wait, I forgot to mention one thing. Down here, this is the menu. This is the taskbar. The reason why I just dragged it not completely down is because for some, whenever I hover over the one or two menu, ah, the one or two desktop switcher, it crashes my screencast manic. So, right here is the menu for Linux Mint. Now. Anybody that's ran previous versions of Linux Mint knows that this menu has changed. For me, this is the first time seeing this, so it's kind of cool. This is like the app uh, menu that it you. This is the app menu that Ubuntu used to have, and possibly what Linux Mint used to have. I'm not totally sure. Yeah, this is the this is the app menu. As you see, it's got everything listed under a category, unlike Windows, which is listed by publishers. It looks just like this. This is what it's supposed to be. But this is Cairodoc. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And then down here is the desktop switcher, which I'm not going to touch because I am afraid it's going to crash this. So, yeah. This is a pretty cool, um... This is a pretty cool taskbar, as you would expect. If I open up anything like Firefox, it appears down here. And then, even though you can't, pro let's see, if I move this up here, yeah, even though you can't see it up here, it would also show Firefox up here. Wait, see, if I minimize it, it probably would, nope, it doesn't. So anyway, yeah, just like in Fedora as well, your, uh, your, your currently running programs would also appear up here, just like it does down here. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can see that, I'm running screencast o but yeah. Anyway, 
Now let's get on to the usability. Now, sad thing is, this runs almost exactly like Ubuntu 11.10, and by that I mean it shuts down and boots up just like it. In fact, if you time them, I'm pretty sure they'd have the exact same boot and shut down time. Although I'm not gonna do that because I'm not gonna install Ubuntu again because I hate that operating system. What else is cool? Uh, I'll get that. I'll get back to that later. Basically, this is usable. It shuts and boots just like Ubuntu, and it's got pretty much all the programs that you would expect in a normal Linux operating operating system. Like it's got Liber Office. If I show you uh, under here, Office, it's got Liber Office. It's got simple scan it's got pretty much anything you would find in Ubuntu and any, any other GNOME operating system now what else about this unit this uh, okay it is fast Linux Mint is fast if I close this and open up Firefox again it loads within a second load Firefox come on just like that Firefox is ready to go and even says that now my only problem with the usability of this is that whenever I enable my ATI Radeon, my ATI Radeon ca ah, graphics card, for whatever reason, it fucks up the the graphics. Like, I'm not gonna show you because I'm not gonna screw this video up. Like, as you see here, if I if I enable just this driver alone, it will fuck up the notification bars graphics and it will fuck up all the text on every single window so yeah that's a big no-no I wish I could use this because every time it goes to sleep and it comes back the screen flickers even though that's an old CRT thing it works for some reason on my laptop screen which I get pretty pissed about yeah so there really isn't much else to talk about other than that this has two desktops instead of four and yeah this ha oh let's see one other thing this also has its own software center and it comes pre-installed with Snaptic package manager here's the uh, software center now it doesn't look as fancy as Ubuntu's but it it gets the job done and it has almost anything that is in Ubuntu like for example if I typed in desktop recorder it will probably come up with record it now and yeah it came up with record it now I'm not sure where GTK desktop recorder is but it's probably around here I probably have to do it with that with uh, snaptick yeah so my final verdict on this operating system it's a pretty good operating system this is also one of those operating systems for beginner Linux users who are unsure of Linux and want to test it out and don't want to fuck and don't want to completely fuck their um, Windows partition or are scared that they're gonna delete it I give this operating system a 9 out of 10 the reason why there's one point missing is because for what Linux Mint hates Radeon well, that's all I can say I'm not gonna show you what it does because I have a hard time just getting it back to normal but anyway this operating system is cool one more thing I need to show you before I end this video is where is it go ah, advanced settings now this is pre-installed on Linux Mint and you can also install it with the Ubuntu Software Center now let's see you can this pretty much makes everything customizable here's the fonts here is the shell itself and shell extensions now this wasn't here in Ubuntu because I didn't have any shell extensions and for whatever reason they cut off the customiz customization here's the themes I have lightning on or whatever it was and here's the windows yeah overall 9.10 this hates Radeon. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Now let me just end the video. Don't snap. There we go. Bye-bye.